Good morning, my friends. I'm live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the M Live Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy, and we got some great weather on the way for today. We do still have the rain for Thursday into Friday, I guess I would call it, and we still have an upper-level storm system over us for the weekend, but improved slightly because of Hurricane Ernesto. It will be moving up the East Coast into the North. You know, out in the Atlantic, not affecting the East Coast as far as a direct hit, but it will act as a magnet to pull our Saturday storm system east a little bit quicker on Sunday. So let's show you what I'm talking about first. We start with the beautiful weather. Wow, I'm going to try to get outside today. Good morning, Ed Johnson from Waterford. Good morning, Carrie Draper from Kingsley. If you could hit the share button, I'd appreciate it very much. So Plenty of sunshine today, and you can get a good feel for the clouds and the area of showers lined uh, northwest to southeast, out to our west in the Dakotas and Iowa, that moving toward the northeast. So we'll start with that on the radar forecast. And let me see if our newest run is in. It's coming in right now. This will be the first I get a chance to look at it too. Okay, it is in. So you remember, we're getting these runs of various models every uh, six hours, and one of them we get every one hour, but this one's a six hour run. And this is through the day today, and you can see beautiful weather. Hey, good morning, Rose Mitchell in Muskegon, one of my favorite cities. And then we go to Thursday morning at uh, 7 o'clock. So early in the morning, you may have some showers at Muskegon, at Pentwater, um, in the southwest corner approaching Grand Rapids. Here's 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And you know, this first band of showers is showing up as possibly not reaching the ground much. That means that you know, when you look at a computer model forecast and it just shows the light green, it's almost exactly like the radar. When the radar shows a light green, it may not be reaching the ground. The raindrops may be so small and evaporating as they come down that you might get a dampness in the air or you might stay dry and kind of see the rain up in above, but eventually it makes its way to the surface. And so we continue with our radar forecast, and that's the case, is eventually we go to noon, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, three. So I would say in the mid, in the late morning to early afternoon, we'll all start to have some showers, and it may take until the second half of the afternoon or dinner time for the showers to make it into Detroit and Ann Arbor. And note all green there, not yellows, so lighter rain, except for the UP, you get into a little bit heavier of the rainfall. Hey, let's compare it. Let's go back. Since we have the time, uh, since we have the time, Uh, Marshall, Kerry Wilson, no, we won't be getting torrential rainfall with this, especially in the Marshall area. So this is six hours ago, and it looks very similar, except that it, it has, note that as we get into Thursday night, it shows heavier rainfall. Now we'll have to wait until this, this newest run has all of its panels in. Uh, all we're getting out now to is... Uh, mid Thursday evening. So we probably will still get in into the heavier downpours at some point. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a total precip off of this and grab the newest run also. So, you know, we go into three Thursday afternoon. The radar forecast looks worse than the uh, rainfall amounts. By three o'clock, you're still only looking at a few hundreds in some places. So you might consider most of tomorrow a dry day. And now we get to uh, midnight and the rain's starting to add up lower peninsula west side, but still very light. And then the UP getting quite the dousing. 
Uh, and now if I go back six hours and get the full run out of this, then you can see by midday Friday, northern half of lower Michigan gets into some heavier rainfall with some thunderstorms. That would be Thursday night, Friday morning. All right, so. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, so upper air shows the cold storm system. I shouldn't use the word cold. Uh, chilly storm system. This is Saturday afternoon. So that's not a real summary thing. But notice Hurricane Ernesto. Tropical storm now will be a hurricane. See how it's moving up the east coast? That's gonna do two things, su two subtle things to our forecast. It holds the coldest air back up in Canada. We're still in the low to mid 70s on Saturday with clouds around, showers around. So it's still not a summery day. And then Ernesto is going to grab on. See how it's kind of opening up and acting as a magnet? This is Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Ernesto is gonna pull that storm system out of Michigan on Sunday and shifted over to New York. And that means, you know, the second half of the afternoon could be improving and not too bad and it quickly absorbs it and moves it on. And then next week, we see another bend in the jet stream forming. And I wanna show you, this is the reason why. See on the far right, bottom right, that's a Bermuda high pressure center. And then see out in the western, southwestern part of the US, that's a high pressure, hot high pressure dome. Hi Terry Lerone. Both of those positioned there mean that a trough has to be in the middle of those two configurations and that's where we're at. And that's why storm systems can drop in and uh, cool us off. Okay, so. Um, here's the bigger picture off that European model showing the rain coming through. I'm going to grab a closer resolution so we can see Friday and Saturday. And then this is Saturday, still looks showery. And then this is Sunday and you could kind of get a feel for how Ernesto is going to kind of absorb our storm system. Let me grab a closer perspective for you. Here we go, the Great Lakes perspective. Hey, good morning, Kathy Reddington from Cadillac, Whitmore Lake, Annie Garieppi. Hopefully I said that right. So here's your Thursday night showers. What does Friday look? Friday, this is morning into early afternoon and afternoon into early evening. Friday looks showery and wet. Almost looks like it's sped up a day. This is Saturday morning. Morning into early afternoon, the darker greens you see, quarter inch rains, that's, that's wet for six hours. It's not torrential downpours, but it's wet. And uh, the grays you see are a few hundredths to a tenth of an inch. That's damp. This is afternoon into early evening. So Saturday afternoon and early evening is wet in Detroit, and Ann Arbor, and Lansing, and Jackson, Saginaw, Bay City, Flint, Midland, the Thumb, uh, North Central, Lower Michigan. And, you know, maybe Traverse City stays kind of drying on the edge of it, but it'll still be on the cool side because of the clouds. And then as we go to Sunday morning into afternoon, not much activity, and Sunday afternoon into evening, maybe a spray, stray shower or two here. So, so it looks like it's sped up into more rain on Friday. Saturday looks about the same, less rain on Sunday. Chad Douglas, rain in Marquette in the UP on Saturday. Let's go back for you, Chad. Uh, no. No, storm system is clearly out of there. Julie MC, my wife and I have been talking about that. We just seem like wherever we've been, we haven't had a good, non-severe, but nice thunderstorm lately. How does Thursday look for a day at Cedar Point? 
Stephen, I'm guessing you're talking about tomorrow, Thursday, or are you talking about next week? If you're talking about tomorrow, this is through 8 p.m. Um, tomorrow, and Cedar Point would be dry. It'd be it'd be a good day. It'd be warm, humid. Rain in Grand Haven on Saturday. Let's go to the Saturday uh, for Clark ML. This is morning into early afternoon, and this is early afternoon into evening. So it would say morning showers, and you know, fairly light, and afternoon probably hanging on the clouds and I think it could be showery but not super terrible all right Stephen Pachla I'm guessing that that's what you meant was tomorrow go for it um, early next week we dry out let's see what do I have finally for you I have the temperatures now what you're gonna see First off, I should tell you that I feel like the European model, which is a good model, but sometimes temperatures don't jive. I feel like it's good with what's going on aloft and at the surface, but I feel its temperatures, for some reason, have jumped to being off based on what I see at the surface. So Saturday, like I said, I'd tweak it up a couple of degrees. So still low 70s, still most places 72 to 75 clouds, showers, you know, so when the shower hits, your temperature drops down to 68 or 70. Um, <laughs> Tara, of course, a vacation in Glen Arbor this weekend. Let's pray, I catch a break. Hey, it's vacation, so at least it's nice. Saturday won't be great, Sunday won't be terrible. Um, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, temperatures. So Saturday, a couple of degrees warmer. Sunday, maybe a couple of degrees warmer yet than what I showed you yesterday because of the uh, Hurricane Ernesto grabbing onto uh, the storm system in our region of the weekend. Okay, so we're nice. We're in the uh, 80s today. Now here's tomorrow. Um, you know, all over the board, depending on if you have clouds in a shower or Ann Arbor and Detroit, you can be very warm. And Friday, you can be very warm in Ann Arbor and Detroit and Saginaw Bay City. I feel like this might be a little bit warm. Depends on when the showers and thunderstorms hit. Then here's Saturday. Let's call it 78-ish in Ann Arbor and Detroit and Jackson and Lansing. Let's call it 70, I think 75-ish in the Saginaw Valley area. Uh, Traverse City, I think we call it 72. And uh, northern lower Michigan, 70 to 72. And the UP, out of the storm, back to the mid 70s. We do have to remember, even though we had a cool weather last weekend, we do have to remember it's still summer. Huey Freeman, is there any severe weather expected this weekend? I saw there's a marginal risk in Kalamazoo for Friday. Uh, let me check after these temperatures. Um, so now here's Sunday. I feel like this is a little bit overdone with the 80s in the center part of the state, but the point is it could be fairly warm on Sunday. So Sunday could improve. Monday in the 70s and 80s, Tuesday, next Wednesday, maybe upper 80s, next Thursday, next Friday. So no sustained real hot spell coming. Uh, or showing, but uh, definitely some some warm summer weather mixed with a little bit of cool weather. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the Storm Prediction Center uh, for Huey Freeman. Any severe weather? Good reminder. I just guess I didn't feel like there would be, so I didn't really look. Um, so this would be uh, this would be tomorrow morning to Friday morning. And I wouldn't call it really a severe weather chance. And then this is Friday. And uh, yeah, you could call it a marginal risk. I guess a 5% chance of an isolated severe thunderstorm on Friday. Just because we're at that time of the year. We're at the time of the year where instability can make a brief burst. But nothing that looks like a... Uh, 
a significant severe weather outbreak. Uh, Becky Hubbard, bonfire Friday night in Wayland. It's possible. Spotty thunderstorms. Keep an eye on the radar. Let's see. Robin DeMario has got something going on here. Driving to Milwaukee Friday morning to help my daughter move to her house Friday and Saturday. How's it look? Oh, let's go back for Robin. Hey, do you get this anywhere? Can you knock on the TV screen and say, hey, meteorologist, I'm moving my daughter to Milwaukee. What's going on? No, you can't. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go back for Robin, Milwaukee. Um, I'm a mom. Okay, let's use this. So let's see. Robin is going to Milwaukee Friday morning. Yeah, I think you're going to have an okay drive on Friday morning. You might have some brief showers, nothing that's too terrible. And then Friday in Milwaukee looks, you know, spurty, showery, not too crazy. Then this is Friday evening and it's drying out. And then Saturday in Milwaukee looks dry. So you should be pretty good. And the nice thing about moving is it doesn't look extremely hot. It looks warm there. Upper 70s to low 80s, but at least it won't be. 95 with high humidity. All right, there you go. You got a you got a weather full there, didn't you? Um, 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 uh, let's see. Anybody else staying in Holland this weekend? Any storms for Lakeshore? You'll have the spotty showers Saturday morning, but uh, I wouldn't call it storms. Although you will get a northwest wind, and that's of course a, a wavy situation at Holland. But Holland should be might be a little bit better than what you anticipate from the forecast you're seeing. Oh, Bush on Friday night, Sterling Heights. Bush the band? Love them. Let's see here. Showing my age, though, probably, huh? Let's go back to Sterling Heights Friday night. Uh, let's see here. Because that's important. <laughs> Forecast for Bush. Oh, I just nuked. Now you give me a second here. Bear with me a second. All right, so Friday morning into early afternoon. You know, Sterling Heights, you may have a few hundredths of an inch of rain. That's not a lot. Late afternoon or early afternoon into evening, it does look showery around the Sterling area. Uh, da Donna Dowis, Ypsilanti for Saturday. Showery. Now that's a one tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain. That's not a ton. That's probably two or three half-hour showers. Uh, Amy Schultz, I hear ya. I hear ya. My my garden needs it too. It's time of year where all of a sudden, in the last week or two, just things are drying out at the same weather pattern as earlier in the summer. Right now, because the humidity is going going down, the the soil is just drying out. Definitely. Olga Centillion. Uh, let's see. GR Lawn Work Saturday. you be GR Saturday. Morning into afternoon, some showers. Afternoon into evening, yeah, maybe another shower. Probably not terrible. If you're like me, I work around showers. Not a definitely not a rain out. Saturday in Mayo, Jamie Valance, yeah, you're, this is afternoon into early evening. Mayo's going to be probably pretty showery. You better take some cards so you can play poker. I'm not a euchre player. I get kind of bored. Um, 
I'll play poker, I'll play rummy. Me and my dad used to love to play rummy when he was still with us. Tomorrow and Friday in Battle Creek for Jonathan. Tomorrow, Battle Creek, I'm going to say, starts to get some showers and thunderstorms in the late afternoon tomorrow. And then Friday is, you know, a couple of showers. When you see two six-hour periods that are gray or light green, that means that you've had a passing shower and it's put down five hundredths of an inch and then it's stopped, another passing shower. As opposed to northern Michigan on Friday afternoon and evening, you see the green and the blue. That's going to be, you know, several hours of rainfall. By the way, and you can't steal my idea if I tell you this idea, but there's something that I feel has never been done in meteorology as far as a display and something that I think we need. So I'm working on it. Hey, I'm old in the technology terms, but you know, the brain still works. And I think we need um, a display that shows minutes, total of rainfall at a spot. It puts you in perspective. So here you got this cloud and a raindrop underneath it for Friday. Is that 15 minutes of rain total or a half hour or six hours or 24 hours of rainfall? I think that would put it into perspective. I got it in my brain. I just got to figure out how to get it out of the data and onto a map for you. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. This has been brought to you by Consumers Energy, and we will see you back here tomorrow. I almost thought tomorrow is Friday. Might mean a work skipper Friday is in the works for me. I don't know. Bye.